of YouTube, everybody, it's Wildboy5699 here. Welcome back to another update rambling video. I do apologize if I am sniffling a lot in this video. My allergies have been busting my balls all fucking day. It's been a shitty day to begin with and on top of my allergies and everything. It's just been a shit show with everything. So, But I wanted to talk about a couple of things in this video. Uh, in like, at the end of the video, I'm going to do an update, anime DVD update and a book update I want to show you guys. And a second thing I want to talk about is... Well, the first thing I do want to talk about is I am already thinking about getting another tattoo. Uh, I already have Rhea's Grimmery from High School DxD on my forearm. So I've been thinking about talking to a couple of people and talking about putting something on my right forearm. And a lot of people say to... Uh, which I've been thinking the same thing people have been saying since I got Rhea's on this arm to... Uh, put another DXD character on my, uh, right forearm, and, uh, I've asked, well, should I do, uh, Akino or Issei, which those are my, my uh, the main two I wanted to do, and, uh, they said, whatever you, uh, whatever you want to do, and there's a lot of lockups, I don't know why it keeps locking up on me, but, anyway, I made a poll, uh, yesterday, after I made a short video, uh, having a poll, uh, because the choices are either do Akino or Issei, and about 40 people have voted so far, and it has over uh, uh, eighty over eighty five percent of the people have chose Akino. So the way things are going, I'm gonna go talk to a tattoo artist or find a tattoo artist in the area to go uh, Akino on my right uh, forearm. I'm not going back to Southtown and Fort Smith again. Do that again because the artist was a freaking asshole uh, last time, uh, the first time I went. So I'm not getting a uh, another tattoo at Southtown in Fort Smith, so I'm planning on going to White right, White Rabbit out of Fort Chaffee. My boss at work told me to go get one, a tactical tattoo, and uh, so I'll, uh, when I get my paycheck in a couple of days, I will message uh, a couple of tattoo artists, you know, uh, the artist out of White Rabbit uh, has a year out in advance booking, uh, the second best artist there has is like a uh, uh, six months they out, and some, like, sometimes they'll have openings, so I'll just have to... Send them pictures or do go to a couple of tattoo artists, uh, but I'm definitely not doing Southtown again. Uh, that's for sure. So as so like I said, the way things are going, I'm gonna go talk uh, email a couple of tattoo artists to get acting on my right forearm since I have Reese to go with it. And the plan is I have a couple of more tattoos in mind. My dad got a tattoo a couple of days ago, and I thought, hey, probably about time to do another uh, get another tattoo. So well, I'll do another talk about that in another update in the future. I'm just gonna hit a couple of uh, message up a couple of art. Uh, artists in the area and we'll just go from there i even message i'm actually friends with a guy who runs a lot of uh comic cons in the area uh he runs the uh arkansas comic con little rock he's gonna do the oklahoma comic con in tulsa uh he does the one up at northwest arkansas and uh i've asked him because i talked to him and you know he supports a lot of mental health and stuff like that i've talked about him a couple times very nice guy and i said just a shot in the dark if you i don't know if you do the bookings or not but if you know somebody if it's possible for either Oklahoma Comic Con in August or when you do Northwest Arkansas Comic Con again, uh, do you think you can probably bring Jamie Marquis, who plays Ray's Grimmery, so I can show my tattoo? And he said that he doesn't do the bookings, but he know who is a guy, uh, know who the person is, and he'll pass it along. So maybe it'll be con it'll be awesome. But anyway, enough about that. I do want to get to another anime DVD uh, uh, anime update video. But the first the cool, this cool thing I want to show you guys first, I went to the local game store and I found a gamer a strategy guide for my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Um, uh, this is about probably when it came out in 2002, and uh, it pretty much tells you about every single thing of um, about Vice City, which you know we all know Vice City is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. Tommy Versace is my favorite GTA player to play. And only OGs remember Vice City. Hopefully when GTA 6 comes out, it's going to take place in Vice City, a newer edition of Vice City. Because we have not seen Vice City in the uh, HD universe yet. We've seen Santa, oh, we've seen Lost Fairytales, we've seen Liberty City in the in the, um, in the uh, uh, HD universe. So hopefully, uh, as, as long as GTA 6 don't get delayed, but that's where it may be going. So I'll just have to wait and see. And uh, I will do a reaction video to the new tra to, to the new trailer when it comes out because I thought about doing a trailer when it came out, uh, but I just didn't have time. So anyway, this is a cool thing I wanted to show you guys. It goes all around Vice City and stuff like that. So very very cool to have. And another thing, so we're gonna go to the uh, DVD up anime DVD update. I have a total of four uh, animes I do want to show you guys, and uh, we are gonna go one by one. The first thing I bought today is an anime from Funimation called uh, Citrus. I have no idea what it's about, but it, it intrigued me. Um, I think it's about this girl who goes and wants to find romance, but ends up going to an all-girls school and ends up finding love 
uh, girl on girl style. So that's interesting. So it already tell by the thumbnail th already by the uh, thing. It already looks promising. So we'll just have to see uh, when when I watch it. So next thing I want to do is the first season. Uh, people have someone to check this out. It's the first season of Tokyo Ghoul. A lot of people are saying that this is a fantastic show. Uh, people have told me to check it out many, many times. And uh, I thought um, it sh I'll definitely take a look at it. I'll put it on my Crunchyroll uh, watch list for sure. And it looks very interesting. So hopefully I'll get the time to watch these one day. And then the next thing I want to show you another thing from another Crunchyroll Funimation is this movie, uh, My Hero Academia. Um, what's it called? My Hero Academia Heroes Ryzen. Uh, this is a cool thing to do, so it's got a Blu-ray and a DVD release. I have not watched um, My Hero Academia yet. I, I have the first four seasons, so hopefully one of these days I'll be able to watch it. Uh, I know a lot of Funimation people, because it's from Funimation, that uh, a lot of people play that I know. So the last thing I want to show you guys is a brand new copy of Miyazaki's film, uh, My Neighbor, my neighbor uh, Totoro. This anime came out in Japan, I think in 1985 or 1986. Or 1990, or 1980, it's an 80s Japan movie, but it did not get a American release uh, until 2005. So it took about 20 years for this, at least with Spirit of the Way and Ponyo, they got American releases a year or two later. But I think, this is a shot factory, but I know when Disney did uh, release animes in the 2000s and stuff, they always did that. So very, very cool, I wanted to show you guys and everything. So that's pretty much it for this video, my allergies are kicking my ass, I'm probably not, I haven't blown my nose yet and everything, but... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate with a thumbs up, comment down below. Check out my social media down below. Me, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.